Good afternoon, my brothers and my sisters in the Lord. How are you today? Well, this is another Donna Diggs original video, and we are going to go outside into the sunshiny backyard. I know! I love it! So, if you don't mind, it's going to be shaky. Because I have to carry the laptop with me. So hang in there. I always, whenever I do this, I always, um, it always reminds me of that movie. Um, oh, I can't even remember the name of it. Remember they were walking through the woods and the camera was like all oh, shaky and uh, what was it called? The Blair Witch Hunt? I don't know. I can't remember this stuff. <laughs> oh, I forgot a bag. Hang on, we have to go into the kitchen. That's part of today's video. Do not mind my kitchen. Actually, do you want to see how bad it is? <laughs> Dirty dishes. Dirty dishes everywhere! Dirty dishes! Look at my countertops. Dirty, 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 dirty dishes. Dirty, just everything's dirty. I made this pasta. Can you see it? You can't really see it. Oh, gosh, I'm so bad at I'm so bad at video making. Oh, here it is. Okay. This is what I made the kids for lunch. Pasta. Homemade homemade pasta. <gasps> oh, got to clean the key, keyboard. And, and they hated it. And I made them some fresh vegetables. Broccoli. Mmm. They love vegetables. Okay, now we're looking for a bag. Hang on. It's, oh, here's the bag. I know. What's the bag for? Well, you're going to find out. So here we go. Thank you so much for your patience. Thanks for being enthusiastic and excited as we go out into the backyard. So here we are in the backyard. I know it's beautiful out here. And I'm going to just set this down just like this, okay, with my bag. And I don't think I'm stripping, but it's warm out here. So I'm going to take off my shirt. <laughs> Because I know somewhere in the United States of America, and probably in Europe, you guys are freezing stuff. Well, here in Florida, it's not cold at all. It's nice. So here we go. Just thought I would take it off and wipe my, wipe my brow. I'm afraid to wipe the, the keyboard because I don't want this to uh, to go bad. But anyways, okay. Anyways, how are you? Oh my gosh. I just totally want to thank God. I want to thank God for His goodness. I want to thank God for His mercy and His grace. I just want you guys to know that I cannot wait to be with my Father in Heaven. I just can't wait. Now, the reason why I brought this plastic bag of stir-fry vegetables is because, believe it or not, on the back, where it talks about stove top, if you're going to do it that way, or if you're going to steam them, or if you're in a microwave, um, I noticed on the back, right here, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, I'll put it really close, K 
Can you see it? Can you see it? Right here. Okay, in case you couldn't read that, let me read it for you. It says, God is strong and can keep you from falling. He can bring you before his glory without any wrong in you and give you great joy. That's what it says. And then it has the Bible verse. Jude, chapter 1, verse 24. Now, I just thought that was so very, very cool. On a stir-fry blend. Uh, I know. This is from TJ Farms Collect. And I, I mean, I know. I, I know. Where are you going to find a Bible verse on any product? Seriously, where? Hardly anywhere. Now, I don't want to be all up in your grill, but... I just thought that was so cool, and I wanted to share that with you. I really did want to share that with you. So now, I'm just going to sit here, and I just want to give all the glory, and all the praise, and all the honor, and everything. I want to just give that back up to the Lord. And I want you guys to do it with me. Just tell God thank you. Just, just, you know, just spend five minutes thinking about all the good things that you have in life. You've got your health. You've got, you've got friends, family. We've got sunshine. You know, right now, in certain parts of the world, they are freezing to death. Just freezing. And that's why I love Florida. I love Florida because of the sunshine. For me, I... I'm one of those people that if I'm in fog or snow or just anything freezing, I am like so miserable. And I just thought that I would share with you guys that we need to be on fire for the Lord. Our spirits, we need to be on fire. There's a verse in the Bible that says, if you're lukewarm, he is going to spit you out of his mouth. You know, have you ever gone to a restaurant or, or anywhere? I mean, it could be church, it could be a friend's house, just, I mean, and the food is just not hot. You know, it's, it's, it's on the cold side, it's lukewarm warm. I mean, lukewarm, lukewarm, think about that. Uh, you know, who wants that kind of food? I would rather have the soup be a little bit on the hot side where I can blow on it, you know, and, and blow it down a little bit to where it's, you know, not going to burn my mouth. But when you put it in your mouth and it's lukewarm, like to the point of, you know, where you want to go, can you please just zap this in the microwave for about, you know, 59 seconds? <laughs> you know what I mean? Because that's what people, you know, people want things hot. Well, so does God. He wants us to be hot for Him. 
He does. He wants us to be hot for him. And I just thought that I would do a quick little video to remind you of that. Now, this morning I went on a walk for three hours. I didn't wear my watch. I'm not even, I'm not wearing it now, you know. I I'm not wearing any jewelry on my wrists. And the reason is is because I took a shower and I just you know I just didn't put them back on. So I went for a walk for three hours. I left the house at eight o'clock, came back, it was eleven. You know! Where did the time go? You know what I was doing? I was thanking God for another beautiful day. And when I started out, it was foggy. It was foggy and chilly. And I was like, oh gosh, you know. But it was nice and cool. And so I didn't mind it. I was, I was like, wow, okay, I'm walking in the fog. By the time I got home, the sun was out. I was like, oh my God, thank you for the sun. Thank you for the beautiful, bright sunshine. It feels so good. I love the sunshine. And for you people that are out in the snow, I thought I would, you know, kind of tease you guys a little bit in a good way. You know, it's, it's not like I'm doing anything bad. But you're going to, you know, I hope to put a smile on somebody's face. Because right behind me is a swimming pool. No, I'm not going to go in. But look at what I'm wearing. This is what I wore for my walk, except for the boots. Well, I just want you to see what I'm wearing. This is for the winter people. <laughs> Can you see? <laughs> Can you see my fluffy boots? Look at my boots. Look at my boots. They got fur on them. I know. So, you know, I'm not, you know, I'm a joker. So I'm just going to take off the boots because, you know, I don't need to wear the boots. I'm taking them off. See, because I don't need them. Now I'm going to take off my hot, hot pants. I'm just joking. <laughs> you guys don't mind me. I have a weird sense of humor. Really, you know, a, a weird. I'm a weird, I'm a weird chick. But I love the Lord. I dig God. I totally dig the Lord. And that's going to be it. I wanted to share the, the vegetable bag. I wanted to share the verse. Don't forget, it's found in Jude chapter 1, verse 24. And I love you so much. And if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, it's not too late. All you got to do is say, Father God in heaven, I accept your Son as my Lord and Savior. I invite him into my heart right now. I need a Savior. I don't deserve your love or your mercy, but you give it to me every day, regardless, in spite of me. And I'm learning that every day we have to renew our minds. You have to, it, you know, if you're feeling like you're full of junk, like you got a lot of junk in the trunk, okay, that's like me. Sometimes we wake up and guess what our trunk, you know, the junk in the trunk? It's our head. It is. I just recently found that out. If you feel like you got a lot of junk in the trunk, empty it out. Just give it to God. You know, just do this. Shake your head, you know. Get rid of the junk in the trunk and ask the Lord, fill me up with you. I need more of you. I need more of you. 
because that's what we need to be saying. He's going to hear you. And I'm not making this up. And once you accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you instantly are a part of God's family, which makes you my brother or my sister. So now we're related. Yay! Oh my God, I love you! Doesn't it feel good? Doesn't it feel good to have family that loves you? You know? People that love you, that aren't going to judge you, that aren't going to stare at you from head to toe. You know? You know, it's, it's not... It's not about what you have in your bank account. Because I don't even have a bank account. It's what's inside your heart. And that's the truth. Oh my gosh, 16 minutes, I gotta go because I don't want to be boring. I love you. I hope this video inspires somebody, especially out in the uh, Midwest and up in the Upper Peninsula part, you know, in Michigan where my mom lives. <laughs> you know, she's got a wooden stove. Thank God I don't have to maul wood. I love you. Have a blessed day. And I'll see you tomorrow or the next day, God willing. Bye.